assalamu alaikum everyone welcome on board we are over here to discuss muhammad qasim bin abdul karim who he is what are his divine dreams why are they important i hope all of you can see me well uh, adheen hasan welcome on board wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh help me with the picture uh, yasmina welcome on board help me with with the with the picture guys can you see me clearly how's the sound Ooh. okay welcome welcome umayya i can see you guys sayyid ali welcome on board welcome on board i can't read this username this is maybe a hems limbada welcome on board is slightly blurry okay i've worked with the lighting uh, as much as i could so let's hope we can work with that okay okay very nice very nice five people live with me very nice very nice welcome so we are here to discuss uh, osama welcome aboard discuss who muhammad qasim bin abdul karim is what are his divine dreams and why are they important i hope the lighting is a bit better now i got my laptop screen to lit me up how's that okay okay yeah very nice nine people are bored welcome on board everybody uh we are over here to discuss who muhammad qasim is why are his dreams important what is the significance of his divine dreams very nice i hope i don't look like uh a ghost how about that must be better okay so let's start hira welcome on board so let's start uh our topic for today so my name is avas nasir if you guys would like you can follow me as well my username is o w a e i s on instagram it's the same on facebook it's the same on you uh, not youtube instagram facebook twitter uh, you can follow me as well i keep on coming live and make videos about muhammad qasim bin abdul karim who he is why are his dreams important and what's their significance uh, for the muslim ummah for the world and uh, and and uh, international uh, geopolitical events so 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 let's start with who is muhammad qasim muhammad qasim is a simple citizen of pakistan a very simple humble human being he lives in uh, lahore and and he is not uh, a politician he is not uh, even a, a big businessman or something like that he is just a simple human being uh, a, a practicing uh, muslim as much as uh, he he can and uh, and and uh, he is sharing his dreams because uh, he is being instructed to do the same uh, by allah subhanahu wa taala so uh, so we have got a lot of questions from uh, people from all over the world they keep on asking they they, they leave comments um they 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 leave comments on uh, youtube on our facebook pages and on uh, different social media uh, channels uh, raising different concerns most of the people I appreciate i like that and and i i found that the people who have got uh, some grip on uh, on uh, quran and hadith and sharia uh, they are relatively uh, accepting and um, let me start with myself why am i here and why, why am i supporting uh, muhammad qasim bin abdul karim um i'm supporting muhammad qasim bin abdul karim because uh 
because something very strange, very spiritual happened to me as well. Uh, about a year or so ago, I saw uh, Muhammad Qasim's uh, videos on uh, YouTube and I was very skeptical of the content uh, because I, I had not heard of any such uh, happening uh, to happening before. Uh, a friend, Scholar Bones 91 is saying, can you speak Malaysian? I'm really sorry, I cannot speak Malaysian. I can speak Urdu, I can speak Punjabi, I can speak English. Uh, but not Malaysian, unfortunately. I hope English must be good enough for uh, most of the people. So I was uh, Nehal, Nehal, Nehal al Islam joined. Welcome on board. MBH77 joined. Welcome on board. We are discussing who Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim is and why are his divine dreams important. So, uh, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim is a spiritual person who does not do any special ritual or uh, uh, special practices to make himself spiritual. It is just, uh, it, is, it is naturally happening to him. He initially, uh, he himself doesn't even, uh, didn't even know why was this stuff happening to him. Uh, what was happening to him was uh, he, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our Lord, our creator himself uh, started coming to his dreams and started talking to him uh, ever since he was a teen. And uh, he has been seeing very wonderful, beautiful, true dreams uh, from very uh, from his early childhood. Uh, but everybody sees dreams. Uh, it, it looked pretty normal to him. Uh, uh, some of some of his uh, uh, friends and family may have, not friends and family because he didn't, share his, his dreams uh, to many people initially. Initially it may have looked normal to him but after some time he st Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started coming to his dreams himself. He has uh, talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, um, in his dreams for several hundred times by now and uh, not only that uh, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also keeps on coming uh, into his dreams uh, several hundred times uh, until now. And Initially, uh, it was these were just dreams, um, and and he says he didn't uh, share his dreams much either. But then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala instructed him, hinted him, ordered him to share his dreams uh, with the world, and he started doing that. And many people keep on uh, Sayyida Rifat. Uh, I'm coming to that part. Muhammad Qasim, his uh, Sayyida Rifat is asking. What dreams are you talking about? Uh, we are basically talking about a guy named Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim who sees a lot of divine dreams from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself uh, comes in his dreams and gives him instructions and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also comes in his dreams and teaches him stuff. And we are talking about his dreams. Why are they important and why should we pay attention to them? Why am I supporting Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim? I'm not Qasim, I'm Awais Nasir. I'm supporting Qasim because, uh, because some spiritual things uh, started happening to me as well after uh, coming across uh, Muhammad Qasim's spiritual divine dreams. Uh, what, what was it that uh, a year or so ago I saw Prophet uh, I saw uh, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim's uh, divine dreams on YouTube. I was very skeptical of the idea that uh, that he this guy claims that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala talks to him. Uh, I, I I I it it bugged me. I didn't pay much attention. I started I I wanted to avoid this because I thought it could be a fitna, and and I did not watch this stuff much because I thought it could really be a fitna. Uh, but this thing kept in my heart, kept in my mind, and, and it kept bugging me. Uh, and, and it so happened that after, um, after six months, uh, this is the story of last October, uh, I saw Prophet Wasallam in a dream of mine. And to my surprise, I wasn't paying attention to Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. I literally was not. I was avoiding him. And to my surprise, Prophet Wasallam hinted me that this guy, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim, is not a liar. What he is saying is truth. And not only that, Prophet Wasallam also instructed me to go over and support this guy. 
it took me a lot a lot of time to digest this information but once i did i i can really tell that this was a true dream and and according to uh, according to uh, the 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 sahih hadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it has been proven that the satan cannot take the shape of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so i decided to not only believe in what muhammad qasim bin abdul karim is saying but also go ahead come forward and show my face as the first open supporter of muhammad qasim bin abdul karim uh, let me tell you um, uh, a, a hadith of uh, al bukhari and uh, it's actually in both Al-Bukhari and Muslim, which states that whoever has seen, Prophet Wasallam says, whoever has seen me in a dream has actually seen me because, because the Satan cannot take my shape. The Arabic of it is there that Man ra'ani fil manami faqad ra'ani fa inna shaytanu la yatamathalu fi surati. Let me repeat. Prophet sallallahu said, "Man ra'ani fil manami faqad ra'ani, fa inna shaytanu la yatamathalu fi surati." One who has seen me in a dream has, for truth, has actually seen me, and this because the Satan cannot take my shape. This is the speciality of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the Satan cannot take his shape and come in somebody else's dream and. And, and, and misguide somebody. So whoever has seen Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has actually seen Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and anything that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said in a dream to him is valid, is perfect and must be followed uh, and, and that person must follow those instructions. So what, that's what I'm doing over here. I'm supporting Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam instructed me to do so. So let me answer a few questions. Um, I have a question from uh, from uh, Adheen Hassan. How do I share this specific live stream link, guys? Please please help uh, help these uh, viewers in the commenters. I'm talking to my support team. There's a guy named Adheen Hassan Seven. He says, "How do I share this live stream?" I think you can share my uh, this this Instagram link uh, to your friends and family they can uh, come over and follow this live stream if anybody has any question come over keep posting in the in the comments and i would try to reply as much as i can maria san saif rahman welcome on board aron navin welcome on board al, al arafiki guys please stay around and and, and watch what I'm saying because this is without any doubt I'm not exaggerating this is without any doubt the most important thing on the face of the earth right now because we are talking about a guy named Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim who's in direct connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of the world the creator of both the worlds the creator of the humans, the animals, the sun and the moon and the sky and the earth. We are talking about the guy who is in direct connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is giving instructions to the guy for the Muslim Ummah and the rest of the world. And and why am I supporting? I'm not that guy. My name is Awais Nasir. I'm supporting this guy because I saw Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a dream and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam instructed me to support this guy. Welcome Javeria, Zanazek, uh, Sayyid Ali, uh, Kaur Sardarni, forgive me, pardon me if I don't pronounce your names uh, correctly, but welcome on board. Insan Sonia, uh, 121, welcome on board. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah, welcome. Uh, uh, and, and, and thanks for joining from Malaysia. So number one question, why is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim spreading his dreams? He is spreading his dreams because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself told him in his dreams that, that, that he must spread his dreams. And there are, there are a lot of instructions, glad tidings and, 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 and instructions for the Muslim Ummah and the world. He is not doing this for money. Go guys, check out all of his uh, YouTube channels. Go out, check all of other social media profiles. Go check uh, his Facebook profiles. None of the channels, none of the videos are monetized. There are no ads. There are no affiliate marketing. There are no endorsements. So 
so this is not being done for money this is not being done for fame that's why you are not seeing Kasim himself because he does not want fame ice cube 98 uh, when i say i saw prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a dream I cannot be liar enough. I cannot be a deceitful guy enough to lie about Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm a Muslim, Alhamdulillah. I believe that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last prophet uh, of, of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the Sharia and, and the Islam is the last religion on the face of the earth. So this is no, no lie because I know when you lie about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how cursed you can get. So uh, I do not have, I do not have the courage to, to lie about Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever I'm saying is truth, alhamdulillah, and, and there is no, no uh, mixture of, uh, of deceit or lies in it. So I answered the question number one, why is Muhammad Qasim uh, promoting his dreams? Because he is instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about that and he does not want fame. He is not doing this stuff for uh, his self-promotion. That's why you are seeing me instead of Qasim because he does not want fame. I am Awais Nasir. I am not Muhammad Qasim. And Nihal Islam, thank you very much for your support. Uh, Ilahi, Ilahi, Ishari, Ilahi Sharik, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Insan Sunia, well, thank you very much for your support. So, question number two, I can repeat enough times uh, if you guys uh, have any concerns or questions. So, number two, why should we believe Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim is truthful? Ice Cube, please hold on, guy, hold on. Keep your comments with you and concerns, and because I'm here to answer all of your questions, do not make your opinion. Uh, from your own because because many people who, who have a little knowledge uh, make make on their own opinions uh, Muhammad Qasim is not a deceitful person uh, he is not what you are saying he's a very good humble human being and very very uh, very good believer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Muhad Tawfiq welcome on board Sayyid Ali uh, it's Lestari uh, welcome on board uh, and thank you very much for your support guys so why should we believe ice cube especially for you we should believe muhammad qasim bin abdul karim because a lot of spirituality is surrounding him i myself right in your face uh, am a real person you can go or uh, just search for my name awais nasir a w a i s n a s w -E r go look me up on google I have a profile, I'm an IT guy, I am no, no spiritual religious person. I'm over here supporting him because a lot of divine stuff is happening around Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim, a lot of, lot of, lot of spiritual stuff. And myself was a skeptic, was, was a guy who did not believe in Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim uh, a year ago. And what happened to me, I saw Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a dream myself and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam instructed me, hinted me that Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim is a truthful person. Go, not only believe in him, but also support him. So that's one reason I believe in Muhammad Qasim's dreams. And to my surprise, as soon as I joined uh, the, the, the people who are supporting Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim, I met a lot of people who are supporting Muhammad Qasim because they were instructed by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in their dreams. And I have the names. I have the names. And I have made the videos uh, on my profile uh, before uh, telling that why... Uh, uh, actually, I got all of these witnesses to make their own videos and I have shared those videos on my Facebook and these videos have been shared on uh, on Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim's uh, YouTube and Facebook pages as well. Uh, so there are a lot of people. There's a guy from uh, Islamabad. Uh, uh, his video, uh, his, his uh, testimony is... Uh, there on my Facebook, he says he saw Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his dreams two times and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him to support, go ahead and support Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. 
and then there is uh, a sister from Philippines uh, he was also instructed the same a lot of people from all of the all of the over the world have seen uh, similar dreams and I can tell you guys that a lot of Muslims these days are seeing divine dreams and and their dreams confirm that we are living in the end of the times and we may be the last generation most probably are the last generation who would see uh, a lot of uh, signs of the Kiyama, bigger signs of the Kiyama uh, ourselves. Uh, and why are these dreams important? Because if you if you go ahead and read the Hadith, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam every day, every day, maybe not every day, sorry, uh, pardon for that. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to ask his companions uh, to, uh, to narrate their dreams uh, uh, to him. Uh, and, and he used to uh, he used to listen to those dreams and he used to uh, uh, sometimes interpret them for them so uh, so dreams have a very important uh, position in Islam and especially the dreams of the end of the times are very important let me narrate a sahih hadith uh, of Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam this hadith states uh, give me a second So this is of uh, a hadith of Jami Tirmizi, uh, uh, second, this is the second uh, book, and uh, this is about the dreams. Uh, it says, An Abi Hurairata, Anna Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Qala, Fi akhiri zamani la takadu ru'yal mu'min takzib. Let me repeat, An Abi Hurairata, An عن ابي هريره ان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال في اخر الزمان لا تكاد رؤيا المؤمن تكذب ابو هريره quotes muhammad the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that towards the end of the times uh, there would hardly be any dreams of a dreamer uh, of of a muslim uh, which won't come true and and there's another hadith that's also that's a that's a that's agreed upon uh, hadith and it says qala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ru'yal mu'min juz'um min sittatin wa arba'ina juz'am min an-nabuwa this is very important uh, let me repeat qala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ru'yal mu'min juz juz'un sorry juz'un min sittati wa arba'ina juz'am min an-nabuwa that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that a dream of a Muslim, a dream of a Mu'min is the 46th part, uh, 46th part of the prophethood. So this is not prophethood, this is a fraction of it, the 46th part. But if the dream is true, uh, it's a divine dream, this is very, very important. And, and uh, this, this it can have instructions for uh, for the person himself and the Muslim Ummah. So uh, we have answered two questions so far: Who Muhammad Qasim is? Why is he uh, support? He's promoting his uh, dreams. Uh, uh, and number two: Why should one believe his truthful? And number three: The very important thing. Another very important thing is that Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim claims, says that he has seen uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his dreams or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks to him in his dreams. So uh, a lot of people ask this question, if it is possible to talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a dream, so the answer is yes, this is possible. And uh, even I did not know that uh, before and I was very skeptical of the idea and, and the claim but once I studied I came across a lot of proof in this regard and uh, a lot of a lot of uh, scholars and uh, uh, predecessors uh, uh, self salihin uh, 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 put their uh, uh, and are of the opinion and had such experiences for example um, For example, uh, Imam Abu Hanifa said that I saw the Lord, uh, means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 99 times in my dreams. Then 
then he says i i saw the lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hundreds time as well to make a century uh, let's talk about uh, sheikh al islam uh, ibn taymiyah uh, rahmatullah alayh, and and others they also say that it is possible for a person to see a dream uh, that has uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in it uh, there's a sheikh uh, sheikh taqiyuddin uh, he says that one can one can see Pro uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a dream many writers and good people have seen such dreams uh, but it depends uh, on the situation of the person the more righteous and good the person is the closer his dream will be to what is true and correct but but allah is different from whatever he sees because the basic principle is that there is nothing like unto allah he may hear a voice that says such and such such or do such and such without seeing any image that resembles any created being because there is nothing like unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so so uh, all these scholars agree that one can see uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his dreams uh, let me tell uh, the opinion of Al-Hafiz Al-Rajab uh, he wrote an essay and, uh, and, and the title of the essay was اختیار الاولیاء فی شرح الحدیث اختصام المعلا الاعلا This indicates that the prophets saw their Lord in their dreams but as far as, far as seeing the Lord in this world with their eyes that did not happen. The Prophet وسلم, said that no one will see his Lord until he dies. This was narrated by a Muslim in Sahih Ahadith. Uh, when the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was asked whether he had seen his Lord, he said, I saw light. Uh, and same is the case with uh, with uh, uh, Muhammad Qasim. He has not seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as such. Uh, as such ice cube uh, 98 you have no knowledge uh, with all due respect what I am quoting to you is the real knowledge go ahead go go do your research and do not be a mufti yourself and uh, do not uh, make your uh, make your uh, fatwas uh, just just um, uh, do not just uh, spread them over here go study what I am telling you is are the real references from the history. Uh, if uh, Imam Abu Hanifa could see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his dreams a hundred times, um, so why not uh, somebody else? He was not a prophet, he never claimed, and nor is uh, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim a prophet, nor he is uh, claiming. Uh, so uh, let me tell you the reference of uh, uh, Imam Ahmad. He says, I saw Listen, this is not limited to uh, Imam Abu Hanifa. This is Imam Ahmad. Uh, he says, I saw Allah the Most High in a dream. I said, O oh Lord, how is it possible to achieve closeness to you? Allah replied, by the recitation of my speech, my kalam, that is Quran. I said, Imam Ahmad says, I said, O oh Allah, O oh Lord, recitation with understanding or even without understanding. He replied, the Lord Allah replied, with or without understanding. So we have references from, from um, uh, Brother Imran Abbasi, if you can paste uh, this verse 51 from Surah 42 in my inbox on Messenger, it would be great, I can read it out. Uh, please, please paste the, the Arabic and the English translation as well. So we have uh, we have the opinions of uh, how Al Hafiz Al Rajab, we have Sheikh uh, Taqiyuddin, we have uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, we have Imam Ahmad uh, bin Hanbal, and uh, we have uh, the ahadith that that uh, that prove uh, this opinion as well. Uh, let me tell you the opinion of uh, Imam Al Bajuri. Um, he has said uh, Jawahir al uh, he has said in his uh, 
in his uh, additional notes of uh, Jawahir uh, uh, al he states that if one sees Allah in a manner that is not impossible for Allah, uh, then one has surely seen him. However, if one sees him in a form that is impossible for him, such as seeing him in a form of a specific individual that he has not seen Allah. So, uh, so what Qasim say is sees, uh, he does not see, uh, he does not see Allah in his in a form. He feels it. Sometimes uh, he feels that Allah is on his earth. Sometimes he feels Allah is talking to him uh, from beyond the sky and stuff like that. Uh, so we have got the questions. Number one. Why? Who is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim? Why is he uh, spreading his dreams? And um, why doesn't he uh, show his face or come forward? Number two, why should he believe? Uh, why should one believe that Muhammad Qasim is truthful? Number three, uh, is it possible to see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in a dream or not? Uh, is it backed by uh, uh, Salfa Salihin and Sharia or not? We have answered all these questions. The next question is, why are the dreams important? Why should one pay attention to the dreams, uh, either Muhammad Qasim's or somebody else? Uh, so all of us, all of us Muslims have read the story of, uh, uh, story of uh, uh, Prophet Yusuf a.s. Uh, Prophet Yusuf was uh, a, a beloved prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and we have a whole a surah of uh, Quran uh, that is about uh, Prophet Yusuf salam. And, and in the very initial verses, uh, in, in the verse 4 actually, uh, it is a mention of a dream. It's called a Yusuf Ali Abihi. Ya abati inni ra'aytu ahada ashara kawkaban wa shamsa wal qamara ra'aytuhum li sajideen Oh my father, indeed I have seen a dream that 11 stars and the sun and the moon they were prostrating to me. This is the very initial verses of Surah Yusuf. This this is about the dream, and and his father did not tell that this dream is irrelevant. But the his father also a pro, also a prophet uh, said, "Qala ya bunayya la naqsus ru'ya ka ala ikhwatika fayakidu laka kaidan inna shaytan lil insani adubum mubin." His father said. O oh my son, do not relate your vision to your brothers, or they will, they were, they will contrive against you a plan. Indeed, Satan to man is a manifest enemy. So he gave that he gave the importance uh, to to that dream, and not only that, but also instructed his son to act based on that dream. And we have been quoted that dream in Quran. In Quran, the Kalam of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, uh, for our guidance, that the dreams are important, and these are the dreams we are talking about uh, of of prophets. Uh, I have also already quoted you a, a hadith that the dreams of not only the prophets are important, but the dreams of uh, Muslims and Mu'mins and. Uh, 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 and, 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 the, and the believers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are also very important. Not only that, they are the 46th part of the prophethood and this is the agreed upon hadith. So, uh, not only that, not only that guys, not only that the dreams of the prophets are important and the dreams of the believers are, imp are important, we have the references in the Quran that even the dreams of non-Muslims uh, can be very, very important. And the dreams in general are a way of getting instructions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There we go. قال الملك إني إني أرى سبع بقرات سمان يأكلهن سبع عجاف وسبع سنبلات خزر وأخر وأخر يابسات Ya yuhal malawaftuni fi ru'yaya in kuntum lir ru'yaya ta'burun. 
This is the dream of, of a non-Muslim king. Also, the, also mentioned in the same surah, Surah Yusuf of the Holy Quran. And, so, and the king said, Indeed, I have seen in a dream seven fat cows being eaten by seven lean ones, and the seven green spikes of grain, and others that were dry. O oh, eminent ones, explain to me my vision if you should interpret visions. Look at this. This, this dream of a non-Muslim king was, is mentioned, is mentioned in the Holy Quran. And this king happened to be, excuse me, happened to be uh, in, in the era of, uh, of uh, Prophet Yusuf, Yusuf and he was no righteous king. We cannot say that because in his kingdom, a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was, was in, in, in prison. Even then, this dream comes to this king. Not only that, but that dream is mentioned in the Quran as well for us as a reference that dreams are important, very important, and we should pay, that, pay attention to them. They have got instructions for the future events, and if we act upon them, if we plan according to them, uh, we can have very, very good uh, future times, and we can uh, avoid a lot of uh, problems and, 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 and confusions in the future. So, so look at this. Uh, the, the, the people around the king were not the Muslims. What did they say? They say, So look at this, guys. This gives, gives me goosebumps. They said, A mixture of false dreams, lame dreams, you are saying we cannot interpret these lame dreams. So the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala paid attention to the dream. The Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the father of the Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, uh, Yusuf alayhi salam paid attention to the dream and instructed, instructed his son to act according to the dream. This was the act of a Muslim. This was the act of the one who believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And on the contrary, the act of the persons, people who did not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or uh, were not the Muslims, uh, their, their act was vice versa. So, so guys, where are we putting ourselves? So uh, we should be very careful in this regard uh, before uh, denouncing uh, these important dreams that where uh, who are we aligning ourselves to so the non-muslims said the dreams are the lame stuff do not pay attention to them we cannot interpret it to you but the prophet of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the dream uh, acted like the dreams are very important and instructed his son to act according to those dreams so but there was a guy uh, within his companions, uh, within uh, his his uh, his team that he recalled uh, about Pro uh, Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, uh, who was uh, his inmate uh, in in uh, in the prison. So the that guy, that inmate, that com the person who was uh, who was with uh, Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, went over to Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam to get the interpretation, and the interpretation was very important. Uh, let me quote uh, that to you as well. Uh, the, the Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, the Prophet Joseph, uh, interpreted the dream as such. You will plant for seven years consecutively, and what you harvest, leave in its spikes, expect, uh, accept a little from which you will eat. So based on the dream of the king, Prophet Yusuf gave them an interpretation that for seven consecutive years, the harvest would be good and you should leave, uh, leave the harvest in its spikes and only uh, pull out the ones you have to eat. Ma illa mimma 
then will come after that seven difficult years which will consume what you have saved for yourself for them except a little from which you will store so those seven years would be tough and you would have to eat from the uh, from the savings you have made in the in the initial seven years so prophet yusuf salam interpreted the dream of the king and helped them figure out and deal with the upcoming situation in their country so that's the case with the dreams of Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim, we have got the instructions, we have got uh, the, the, we have got uh, the events of the future uh, narrated to, uh, uh, showed to uh, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim and we should, we must pay attention to them. There are a lot of dreams uh, which tell uh, us stuff about the Antichrist, uh, which tell about the, which tell us uh, stuff about the World War Three, how the ge geopolitical scenario of the world would take place. Uh, there are many dreams about uh, the about this country, Pakistan. How should its army act? How should its leaders act? How should its scholars act? How should its uh, citizens act? And what we can do to make uh, this country a progressive one? Why should uh, uh, why should we pay attention and how we can make uh, Pakistan a superpower? Uh, we, uh, he has seen dreams about uh, other countries, uh, a country with a red flag, I'm not sure it's China or Turkey or both. He has seen dreams about Indonesia, Malaysia, he has seen dreams about uh, Russia, he has seen dreams about uh, about Israel, P Palestine, the Third Temple and stuff like that. So Muslims all over the world are are living in a very tough condition we we are being attacked from all of the sides we are being attacked by the enemy and we are finding no way to to get ourselves out of this situation so we should pay attention to these dreams these are a cool breeze in a tough time so instead of abusing this person now that we have all of the proofs one proof is sitting in front of you a valid person with a solid profile being on the internet uh, for about 14 15 years is giving a uh, testimony to uh, muhammad qasim bin abdul karim and is telling you guys that uh, i have seen prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a dream myself and all of these dreams of muhammad qasim bin abdul karim contain instructions uh, for the Muslim Ummah contain instructions uh, on how to take ourselves as a Ummah out of uh, this scenario. And thank you very much, Zenez K. I don't know who you are. Uh, I just see your username. Uh, thank you very much for your appreciation. Uh, it keeps me going. So, what we have answered so far. Number one, guys. I need something interesting, maybe some questions in this regard. I've answered these questions so far. Number one, why, why is Qasim spreading his dreams? Number two, why isn't he coming in the uh, on front? Number three, why should one believe uh, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim is truthful? Number four, is it possible to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a dream? Uh, and is this claimed backed by Sharia or not? Number five, what's the importance of dreams? Why should one pay attention to the dreams? And what's the history and historical reference to the, to, to the importance of dreams? What's the historical reference and importance of dreams in Islam? What's the importance of dreams in prophethood? Uh, and, and, and its references from um, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Prophets before. Um, again, guys, I am Awais Nasir. I am not Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. I am here because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam instructed me to support Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim in a dream of mine. And seeing Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a dream is one of the very few things left after Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself uh, instructed in the agreed upon a hadith that Man Rani fil Manami Fakad Rani, whoever has seen me in a dream has actually seen me. So whatever Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells somebody in a dream is valid, is authentic, it 
there is there is no shadow of doubt regarding it so i believe what prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told me and that's why i'm here uh, i'm here to uh, to support muhammad qasim bin abdul karim out in the open alhamdulillah without any fears without any uh, thing to hide just search for my name Awais Nasir A W A I S N A S W E R on uh, on Google. You would find a lot of a uh, lot of uh, a lot of uh, content about me. I've been on the internet for a long, long time. I'm I'm an IT guy. I have no vested interest. I haven't met uh, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim yet. Uh, it might be surprising for you, but I don't want to meet him either. What I'm doing is. Uh, is what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has directed me to. I have no vested interest with, Prof, uh, with, with excuse me, uh, with um, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim and uh, all I'm doing is fulfilling the instructions of uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, question number six. What should the viewers do? Why are we here supporting and spreading Muhammad Qasim's dreams? So guys, from wherever you are, from wherever you are, from whichever part of the world you are, what you have to do is go, go, pick these dreams and share it with your local circles. Share it with your scholars especially so, so they can spread these dreams with the instructions and these instructions reach the people in power. We are not saying asking you guys to go over and share these dreams with your uh, leaders, with your armies, with your governments. Uh, you should, uh, we should, uh, uh, you guys should just share these dreams uh, with your local scholars and your local communi communities, and it would, it would naturally propagate to the leadership. And there are things uh, that we have to do uh, as followers as well. That is to become a practicing Muslim. Avoid uh, all kinds of shirk and uh, and, and uh, including um, anything to oneness of Allah. And uh, that's what these all of these viewers and uh, general Muslims uh, should do. Then, okay. Um, Okay, okay. I've got uh, one um, one one second. I've got one ayah of Quran as well. Um, uh, a member of ours just sent it to me that tells Wama kana li basharin ayyukal أن يكلمه الله إلا وحيا أو من وراء الحجاب أو يرسل رسولا فيوحي بإذنه ما يشاء إنه علي حكيم and not is for any human that Allah should speak to him not is for any human that Allah should speak to him except by revelation or from behind a veil that is what happening to Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking speaks to him from behind a veil so if anybody has any doubts you can you guys can come forward and ask questions keep the, keep your opinions to yourself uh, I'm not asking about your opinions uh, if you have, if you if you like and believe in Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim that is great uh, that is great uh, but if you do not believe uh, him yet that's fine uh, you can go over and uh, uh, do your research keep, continue your research uh, but if you watch this video just this video uh, once one more time uh, after I've ended it uh, you would know all this stuff is not lie there are all of the references in Quran and Sunnah and Hadith and Sharia that Mom, uh, that these dreams are very valid these are important and it's possible to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a dream and this ayah of Quran also says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can talk to uh, a, a person uh, a human being a servant of his from behind the veil so guys uh, if we can have Qasim with us maybe he can answer some of the questions so let me ask around if Brother Qasim is with us or not.
okay i think he's not so uh, if you guys have any questions i'm here uh, to answer your questions uh if not then we can end this session in five minutes uh i would read some of the comments zenez k says we are living in end of the time right now do more good deeds and less sins inshallah yes sure sure yes for sure yes for sure uh yeah god interesting people osama he says uh, he says yes uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can talk to somebody from behind a veil excuse me do you have any suggestions how to make people read or at least listen about Qasim's dreams it says it's Lestari 12 somebody please uh, give a link to Muhammad Qasim's dreams um, uh, in, in the comments because a lot of uh, a lot of people are asking about it um, please uh, give links to Muhammad Qasim's official channels um, Al Ar Rafiki uh, is appreciating thank you very much Jazakallah uh, Khair Al Ar Rafiki uh, then uh, we have uh, we have um, Alar Omehaya. Yes, Kase uh, Omehaya says, uh, Sister Omehaya from US says that Kasim, uh, Allah talks to Kasim from behind a veil. Uh, sometimes he uh, sees a nur of Allah as well. Uh, sometimes he feels uh, Allah is, uh, uh, is on his earth and uh, talking to him from his earth. Sometimes he feels Allah is talking from behind the sky. But he has not seen. Uh, uh, he's not. He has not seen Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala uh, in in his uh, pure form. That's not possible. But talking to him is possible. Uh, Adina Aisha Asia, something like that. She says Allah may choose whoever He likes. Correct. Correct. Allah Rafiki says Allah has not seen. Um, uh, sorry, Qasim has not seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his pure form. Okay. Okay, we have, uh, we have many good, many, many good viewers from around the world. Thank you very much everyone for joining. Safa Muhammad is around, Faris Zuhair is around, Mr. Ashmal 98 is around, Ibn Omar, Ibn, 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 Umar, Ibn Umar 96 is around, and he says, I have been with him earlier and no one can stop these dreams reaching through the whole world until Allah fulfill his promise. The time will come the same way Brother Awais has given his witness. Thank you very much. Jazakallah uh, Ibn Umar. Yes, I have given him my witness. This is, this is no small thing. If this could be something like I could be in a lot of trouble. Uh, if somebody is lying about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or, um, or Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one can get in a lot of trouble and uh, I have come out in the open big only only because I know this is truth and any trouble that comes because of it, it is fine Alhamdulillah I haven't seen any so far because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is, is helping uh, us very much he's uh, he's hel helping us spread this message spread this dream and he is uh, keeping all of the trouble away from us there's also uh, an endorsement that this is the truth and uh, Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim is not lying ASMA 6785 welcome on board thank you very much guys for joining Ilahi Il Sharik Two is here. Thank you very much. Jazakallah for joining. Social 
at world3 join thank you very much jazakallah for joining and being around <laughs> yeah phone is ringing i can't go out and attend it i don't want to leave you guys alone uh more than bread thank you very much for joining but jangir thank you very much uh, Sayyid Ali, more than bread, thank you very much. Uh, social ad word three. Uh, I, I love you guys for being around. And, and we have 20 people live right now. Do you guys have any questions? Faris Zuhair. Faris Zuhair, uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much, Jazakallah for joining. Let me shout out to all of the people. Guys, go on, leave your comments, leave your comments with your name and location. I will take your name on the live feed. Let me make you guys famous. This is M-U-H-D, Muhammad Tawfiq. Okay, good, good, good. Tawfiq, thank you very much for joining. Everybody else, we have 16 people live with us right now. Leave your Leave your name and location and I would mention your name. Mm, great, Muhammad Tawfiq, good, 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 good. Muhammad Tawfiq is with us. Where is everybody else? 17 people live, they are not leaving comments. 17 people, 19 people. Zuhair from Pakistan, that's my guy, very good, very good. Zuhair, thank you very much for being over here. Osama, uh, Idris, 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 uh, welcome on board. Adina, Aisha, Aisha, Malaysia, welcome. Thank you very much for go guys for joining. We have 22 people. Do your family and friends are believe in Qasim's dreams? Yes, a lot of people over here and members uh, have their families and friends who believe in uh, uh, Muhammad Qasim. And Sayyid Ali says, I'm working, good, good. Uh, Anwar Ar Arifin from Malaysia, welcome. Thank you very much, Jazakallah for joining. Um, Walaikum assalam, ASMA6785. Walaikum assalam, brother. Uh, thank you very much for joining. What's your name? Uh, Faris Zuhair, you are live. Good, I can read your name. For most of the people, I can't read the names because they have usernames. I would be around for two more minutes if anybody has a question. Two more minutes. Anybody has got any question? Usman, very nice. Where are you from? Usman Q, where are you from? Osama, be nice. Osama, be nice. Be nice. Indonesia, D Y G Z A. Norms, uh, I can't read your name, but you say you are from uh, Malaysia. Uh, sorry, Indonesia. Uh, what's your name? Uh, that's very nice. And Asima Fatima, a very courageous sister from India. Uh, she is online with us. She came out in the open, uh, and and uh, she is a believer. Um, Jazakallah, sister Omehia from US. Uh, yes, 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 yes. This guy from Islam, uh, Pakistan asked if uh, Pakistan would be a powerful country. Yes, Pakistan would become a very powerful country. It would become a superpower. No kidding, no kidding, no kidding. This is real. Pakistan is about to rise. Somebody is asking for prayer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made things easier uh, for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, make you uh, healthy, happy, and a good Muslim. 
and make things easy for you. A lot of people have uh, threats and issues, alhamdulillah, but trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and things will be fine. Time is running short. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Fiyamanullah.